Peace, I'm Max Resetar, I run Slam Kicks. I'm joined today by two very special guests out here in Hoboken with DraftKings. Of course, on the end, we have the illustrious surgeon, amazing sneaker customizer, and of course, you all know Pound for Pound, one of the greatest to ever do it, an incredible inspiration for everybody, Alan Iverson. Gentlemen, thank you so much for doing this. I want to start with you on the end, Dom. Yeah, Please, just walk us. us through this inspired uh, question mid Club C85 silhouette that you created. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to do uh, something that represented uh, AI and also do something that everyone could wear in a lifestyle kind of form. I remember I stopped playing basketball in high school and once that happened like all my homies were wearing Iversons and I never got to wear the Iversons because I wasn't a ball player anymore so this was something to kind of nod to that where you know you can wear it but it still has the you know the nod to the original OG Iverson. And Chuck, what did you know about his work before you, you saw this right here? I, from uh, my homeboys, you know, just um, who's who guys in the world, you know what I mean? Um, and I was honored, you know, to be able to work with him. I, I, I just felt like it was, a, it was an honor for me to have the pleasure of working with him. Mm. Of course, all these colorways that we know of the Question Mid are so just iconic. How has, how has his work on his footwear inspired you as a creative? I mean, f from the footwork, the, the footwear to just the style that, you know, you, you had in the game, it, it, it showed the world at a, at a time before social media, before tunnel walks, that he was already creating that. So to, like, bring fashion through the sport um, and the culture before it even happened, you know, it, it helped me as a uh, kid you know, find my passion for fashion and dressing up and, and always, you know, just wanting to, to, to be myself by dressing up. I mean, I got best dressed in high school. You know, <laughs> so. And of course, your work with DraftKings continues to elevate. Why are they a perfect partner to continue to elevate this work? Yeah, I think they just, they get it and they understand that, they, that you know, we got to push, push the limits and, and do things differently. And you know, it starts for me, just not just with shoes, you know, it's, it's everything. So. Um, it's been a, they've been a good partner to work with. Mm. Very famously, you've told the story many times about the first time you saw a kid out in the world wearing the question mids. Everyone in here would have a story like that. What I'm curious about is the last time, the most recent time, you saw someone out in the wild wearing some question mids. Today. Mm. <laughs> Where were you at? And that's dope. Yeah, but, I mean, um, it never get old. Mm. Like, love is love. You know what I mean? It never, it never get old. So when you see it and you witness it and you embrace it, it's like the first time mm. that it happened. Like you get that same feeling, mm. you know what I mean? Um, and I just think it's awesome. Shout out to Reebok, you know, the way they keep my name uh, uh, alive and you know, the loyalty and love that they have for me. I think it's I think it's awesome and I think I'll be the poster child mm. of relationships you know with shoe brands mm. forever like you know I think you know obviously I was the biggest Michael Jordan fan ever and I saw the way he did it and I tried to emulate it in my own style and I think my relationship with Reebok like we we did it. Mm. We, 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 we did it to death. Definitely did. I'll, I'll get into Reebok in one second, but you used a word there that I, I think you use all the time, which is love. Mm. I don't know if there's anyone out there within basketball that gives out as much love as you do to everybody, to fans, to players, that receives as much love as you do. And I'm curious how you've seen the adoration of your fans. That you, You're always talking about how, how loved you feel by fans. How, how have you seen that adoration evolve throughout the years? My fans, man, like, they, my flaws, who I am, the ups and downs in my life. Like, bruh, they always stick with me. Like, I know a true Allen Iverson fan. Like, they know I'm not perfect. They know I'm just like them. They know I'm emotional. They know I hurt. They know I cry. They know I laugh. They know I smile. Um, they know I'm human. 
And that's the relationship that Allen Iverson has with his fans. They unique in the sense of they understand how hard it is out here in life and how difficult it is to even try to be perfect. We already know you can't be, but my fans are unique. You know what I mean? They love me for who I am. You know what I mean? Um, and that's all I can be. Like I'm, I'm so comfortable with just being me. Like I always say, you know, be you. Everybody else is taken. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's how I feel. Like I want everybody to feel like that about themselves. Like. Ain't nothing wrong with you being you. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, to someone that's vulnerable and, and real and true to themselves is that's what we need to continue to show to 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 everyone in this world. So you know, because as a kid, for me and and an artist, it was the same thing. I'm striving to 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 want to be perfect, but then to understand that it's okay to be be you and and be comfortable in your own skin and. And, and be happy to be you, wake up to be you. And it's like, you know, I have children, so that's what I, I'll teach them. And I've taught over 10,000 students. I, I teach them in the classes about that too. So it's like, that's what we need. I wish we had more time. But <laughs> gentlemen, thank you so much. There's so many more stories to get into, I know that. But I appreciate you very much. Thank you thank guys. You.